Hello everyone and welcome. Um, we're here in WolfQuest multiplayer with uh, Song and um, Veronica, some of our channel mods. <laughs> and we're actually here for a very special reason. Um, we actually came up with a game. So, uh, hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, so um, I haven't even explained how this works, have I? <laughs> Okay. Well, I know how it works. I, I explained a little bit to you. I didn't go into detail. So basically the idea of this game, it's called Infection. And basically what it is, is that you start out with one person who is infected. And the goal of the infected is to infect the other players. Um, if all the players are infected, then the game ends. <laughs> but the catch is, every once in a while, there is um, a cure that will drop at a random location. So if we actually look on the map... Uh, the drop locations are actually the four dens and then right here on Little Butte. So every, I think it would be, it, it scales depending on the number of players that we have. So for three players, it's going to be every minute and a half. Uh, a, the cure will either drop somewhere or the current cure will expire. So there's three minutes between cure drops and each cure is good for a minute and 30 seconds, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I, I should state, too, this game is very much a beta thing. Um, we've never played this before. And so we don't know if it's going to work or if it's going to be imbalanced or what. <laughs> but that's part of the fun of it, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. So, so far, does that make sense? <laughs> yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And once we have the cure, we have to try to tag the infected, right? Yes. So the thing with the cure is... Only one wolf can have the cure at a time. Only one cure drops. So let's say a cure drops to Saddle Me at Saddle Meadows and I'm the infected. Whichever one of you gets there first and touches the den uh, gets the cure. And so at that point, it's probably probably best to just go say, okay, I have the cure. Uh, just so people know and don't go back for it a second time. <laughs> um, it might get a little bit crazy. I'm not entirely sure how this is all going to work. Um... It's not an official part of the game, so it's going to be honor system, but you guys are cool with that. <laughs> um, yeah. And I actually have, you guys will be able to see below the game window, I actually show the console. And the console is actually something I wrote up in Python, which is a programming language that should hopefully deal with the randomization for us. And uh, hopefully everything works. Uh, I tested it extensively earlier today, and it seems like everything is working. But uh, there could be bugs, so <laughs> bear with me if there's bugs. Uh, but basically, um, aside from that, I think that covers most of it. So uh, the way this will work is in the very, very beginning. Uh, so we'll, I'll, I'll put in the information in the console. I'll put in you guys' names, my name. It'll randomize, pick one of us, tell us who's infected. Then once we start the game, everybody else is going to have 30 seconds to run and get to get away from the little butte. Um, a Eventually, we might implement, like, some sort of buff or debuff system, like, you can only use scent view or something. But at this point, let's just try it with uh, names on, map on, and uh, everybody can use everything like that. <laughs> so basically, right. once those 30 seconds go, you uh, basically, it's like hide and seek. You run as far away as you can, try to find some place away from... You know what? Actually, let's do it with names off, but you have access to scent view and map. <laughs> Uh, but that'll just make it a little bit easier, or a little bit harder for everybody to track everybody. So once those 30 seconds are up, it'll give us a little message. I'll call it when the message comes up uh, that says the infected has been released. So then whoever is the infected will get to run off of this hill and uh, try to tag the other two. <laughs> uh, if you get tagged by the infected, you get infected, and you have to try and tag whoever's left. Um, the cure will drop a minute 30, because we have three players after the infected is released. Uh, wherever the cure will drop, I'll call the location. It'll come up in the console. And uh, whoever is not infected has to go try and get the cure in order to be able to cure the infected. If all the infected are cured, then the game also ends. So the game only ends when everybody is infected or everybody's cured. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it'll be balanced for both sides. But... We'll have to see. There might be an advantage to one side or the other. We'll have. We'll just have to see as we go. Uh, so I think that explains most of it. Uh, does that make sense? Does everything make sense? Yep. Yep. Okay. 
All right, well, if you guys are ready, then I'll go ahead and uh, put our information in the console. Alrighty, let me get us over here. So I'm gonna come over here. I actually have the console windows up. So we have three players. Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, first player is Jay. Second player is Song. And the third player, or you know what? No, let me, I'm gonna, hang on. Let me, uh, I'm gonna put in the right names for everybody. So, uh, Katari, <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> if I can spell that right. <laughs> And a wildebeest. Oops. I can't type today. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right. So, yes, that is correct. All right, here we go. So, okay, Charlotte is infected. <laughs> you get to start song. Okay. All righty. Okay. Um, are you guys ready? <laughs> yes. All righty. Yep. Here we go. Uh, so, basically, Song, you have to stay up here on Little Butte for the first 30 seconds, and I'll call it when it, those yeah. 30 seconds are up. Okay. Uh, so, if you guys are ready, let's start in three, two, one. Alrighty. So, now we have to run. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. It might be beneficial. Let me get my names off as well. It might be beneficial. Names are off, right? <laughs> it might be beneficial to stick around near the drop zones. Okay, 15 seconds until the infected is released. Um, it might be beneficial to stay near the drop zones, but we don't know which one it's going to be. It's either going to be one of the four dens or um, the little butte. All right, the infected has been released. <laughs> 90 seconds remaining to cure drop. Uh, and as far as hunger goes... I don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, gracious, not now, computer. <laughs> um, I don't know how we'll do that as far as hunger goes. Hopefully it won't get to the point of needing um, needing to hunt. But if it does, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, no, computer, stop it. <laughs> um, let's see, Matt, where are we doing? Hola, get. Oh, 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 great. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, okay, 60 seconds remaining to cure drop. I didn't see exactly when that happened. <laughs> um, I am afraid. <laughs> I am very afraid right now. <laughs> yeah. Can oh the cure be passed from healthy player to another healthy player? That's or is a it good just... question. 30 seconds to cure drop. I actually haven't thought about that. Uh, let's say no for the time being. But if that changes, uh, we can deal with that. <laughs> um, also, if an infected tries to tag a player who has the cure, then, Hola, yeah. then they are automatically cured. So 10 seconds remaining to cure drop. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Saddle Meadows. Okay, the cure is at Saddle Meadows and it expires in 90 seconds. So that's the thing, the cure will expire. So regardless of who has the cure, whether it's been picked up or not, uh, after whatever the drop time turns out, no, <laughs> whatever the drop time turns out to be, um, then uh, I have the cure. Okay, good. Um, then whatever the drop tur time turns out to be for us, it's a or uh, one minute, 30 seconds. The cure will expire, and then um, whenever that happens, it can no longer be used. Okay, it looks like we do have carcasses spawning as well, so that is good if we do have to refill anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> ah. I'm sorry, my speed is low. Oh, it's okay. I'm just being chased intensely. <laughs> weaving back and forth because I can't run in a straight line. Oh, gracious. Oh, no, 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 not swimming. No, run, 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 run. Please, no, please, no, please, no. The cure expires in 25 what? seconds. Where are you? Why Help me. Are you faster at swimming than me? I don't know. No. Oh, gracious. Help me. <laughs> Help me. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. You're not going to make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh, there's a bunny. Don't, no, don't make me chase the bunny. Not now. Oh, it expired. So we have 90 seconds until the next cure drop. So... We're running straight for each other. <laughs> Gracious. Um, yeah, probably not such a good idea to do that anymore. 
Um, so I'm hoping this will balance out in the fact that the cure expires, because usually, unless you have a two-player game, the, um, the uninfected will always outnumber the infected. Uh, but if you have a, um, a, if you have a two-player like game, not so much. Where if, uh, if you have a two-player game, yeah. you can either eat the ghost No! Or... <laughs> how are you so that fast? Tag? I don't know how close I have to get to you. Uh, you just have to bump into me. <laughs> It has to be, like, a visible contact, but that's not hard to do. Um, oh gracious. 60 seconds until cure drop. Oh my goodness, you are so fast. Why? <laughs> no! Oh my word. This is great. No! Oh, great. Okay, so I am now infected. So now we're both after you. You'd better start oh, running. Dear. All right, where are you? Oh, you're out this She's way. The old oxbow. Okay, we'll head this way. <laughs> so the thing is, too, the cure. Once we're tr we'll try it this way at first, but we might change this depending on um, when it happens or, or how things work. The cure can only be used once before. If you use it one time, it's used up. And speaking of a cure, it is at Saddle Meadows again. Um. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, she's we're in front of Saddle Meadows. So. Oh dear. <laughs> So that could be interesting. That that is the thing is we we might have to talk about um, cure camping because <laughs> uh, since there's two of us, we could technically just camp the cure, and she wouldn't probably be able to get to it in time. But I don't know. We'd have to see. It kind of just depends. Okay. Dude, my stamina hasn't even phased. Mine hasn't either, but you're faster than me. I see what I really want to do at some point is I want to try playing this with Nova <laughs> because he's oh, he's the, he's my 90 speed 20 stamina. <laughs> um this is 86 86 oh. and 84 I think. Man. And, and I'm 46 speed. So. Oh no. Oh, I think you might be kind of doomed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to be very cunning. All right. So the cure expires in 25 seconds. I don't think you ever got it this time. No. Not even gonna try. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. So it might. We'll have to play it a few rounds to see if it's if how it's balanced. But um. Uh, it might actually be fairly balanced right now. Uh oh, I think we're gonna corner you. <laughs> I think we're about yeah. to corner you. All right, cure is expired. Nice Ninety seconds until next drop. Um, how does the expiration yeah, time um, feel? Oh, I think. Oh, oh, I see you guys in the distance. I just see you running. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Oh no, here we go. Oh, oh, good game. <laughs> uh Oh, that was great. I hope you can see that on the video. It's smaller Yay. than my screen. Nice job, you guys. Oh, nice job. <laughs> I probably should have gotten a faster wolf. Oh, no. It could be kind of, yeah, I don't know. It might be kind of interesting. Um, now it's raining to signify the fact that we're all infected and going to die. <laughs> well, you know, well uh, what kind of disease is it? I don't know. <laughs> Originally, it was kind of just, like, based off rabies sort of because you know the whole infecting others and biting and being aggressive sort of thing that's usually associated with rabies but i don't even know <laughs> yeah I, I don't even know what it is it's it's not really named oh, but I anyway how was that fun. i found it fun i thought it yeah, was fun i thought it was fun too pretty fun it's nice because I mean, it's, it's not super competitive because in the end everyone ends up on the same team <laughs> and there's the yeah. lightning again <laughs> Let's go find a carcass before next drop. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll go ahead. I have to restart my utility anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we will see you guys in the next round.